On starry nights, when the moon is full and the air is still, you'll hear distant sounds echoing through through valleys and down calm canals and into to sleepy inlands. And in this time of night, uh, it, it is a busy night near the big station by the sea. That night, a special order of fish was ordered. The fat controller decided that extra vans must be added to the train that the railwaymen called the Flying Kipper. The only vans available were old ones because they were not used for a long time. Henry waited impatiently while the vans were being shunted into place. Thomas put by with the mail train. Hello, duck. Going fishing? I'd rather take care if I were you. Why, said duck. Because, said Thomas, you know that fish can sometimes cause trouble. It caused me some trouble when I... I got some in my boiler, and and they had to fish them out of my tanks. Why's that, said Duck. I don't know, said Thomas, but fish can be smelly, but rather not say I didn't warn you, said Thomas. Goodbye. Good night. Henry hopped. You'll just have to put up with it, Henry, old fellow, said Henry driver. All that weight means you can have another engine help you get over Gordon's Hill. Then Henry puffed away. Duck was waiting at Edward Station. He was being oiled and greased and his headlamp was turned on and was being filled up with water and was waiting for Henry to come so he can help push Henry and his train up Gordon's Hill without stopping. Henry made good progress. Wherever he went, and Henry soon arrived at Edward Station, just as the duck was ready.
said Henry. I need help, please. I'll be right over, said, said Duck. Duck had buffered up to Henry's train. He was not coupled on. Peep, 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 whistled Duck. I am ready. So am I, said Henry cheerfully. Henry made, made his way out Gordon's Hill. Push hard, push hard, said Henry. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, said Duck. Henry didn't, didn't realize that he was pulling the train harder than he thought. Then Duck felt the weight on his buffer's slacking. And then Dustin noticed something else. There's no sign of the tail lamp, he puffed. Duck whistled, but there was no reply. Then Henry also noticed something else. My train's getting heavier, he said. I'm slowing down. Then there was trouble.
No one was hurt, but the strong smell of fish hung in the air. Meanwhile, the workmen found the broken tail lamp at the bottom of the hill. The bat controller spoke kindly to Duck. The accident wasn't your fault, he said kindly. We should have checked that this tail lamp was fixed on properly. We'll soon have you in good working order again. Thank you, sir, said Duck. Thomas is right. Should have been careful with fish, he said. They got me into a right pickle, didn't they? <laughs>